you know, before I get into the meat of this video, there's a few things that I need to see up front that will, of course, serve as the intro to this masterpiece. And of course you have seen the title. Now what I'm going to do, and this should be second nature to y'all, y'all should be used to it by now. I'm going to give y'all a politically correct rant on the Kevin Samuels high school photo. And the, I guess you can call it a dust up with one Dr. Umar Johnson and Kevin Samuels. And what I'm going to do for this weekend's rabbit hole production. And yes, I was, I was gearing up for Father's Day. I mean, I know tomorrow is Father's Day. I know a lot of y'all is going to do special things for your father. You know, some of y'all going to go to church with your father. You're going to take your father out to dinner. Buy your father some flowers. Whatever you have planned on the docket for Father's Day. I, I, was, I was gearing up. And what you're going to notice, the memes in this video are headed in that direction. But they also tie into what we're going to discuss in this video. But... This weekend's Rabbit Hole production is going to deal with a post that a female put up about Umar Johnson and how she was applauding and praising Umar for going after one Kevin Samuels. Now, what I've noticed is that a lot of men address that and I guess you can call it a dust up. A lot of men talked about it. But very few have addressed how black women are patting Umar Johnson on the back. We're going to deal with that later on in the video because, again, this, this is something that I told y'all. Actually, this can serve as an I told you so video. But I'm going to take that sister's post because I screenshotted her post. And I'm going to address that in the whole unedited, unscripted, straight down the center of the plate. And, you know, I'm also going to give you the unedited, unscripted version of the photo of Kevin Samuels and the dust up between him and Umar Johnson and the whole, you know what it is, second nature like breathing. If you want all of this for y'all's Father's Day, send me an email. I will most certainly get you the link. And I sit back and I, I, I smoke cigars, as you all know, but I, I watch y'all. And I told y'all in many of my videos, I studied you Negroes. I, I mean, I studied y'all like the back of my hand, man. I, I've had y'all dissected in a lab like a frog in a biology lab. I know y'all. And I find it comical when I hear commentary from black people on YouTube and they're talking about the black condition. They're talking about the black plight. And none of them, and, and some of them are, are learned and, and have degrees, but none of them really address the social engineering that has taken place in black America. See, in order for you to understand the current plight of the Afro-American Negro, you have to understand social engineering. And why do you need to understand social engineering? It's because everything that you see in black America, everything, is a byproduct 
of social engineering. When the black family was destroyed, and we all know who is responsible for the destruction of that black family. I know hoteps, pro-blacks, back to Africa, they want to say slavery destroyed the black family. No, we've covered this, we've dealt with this. No, that's not true. Did slavery have an adverse effect on the black family? Of course it did. But it did not destroy it. Because long after slavery, you had a father and a mother in the home. Yes, you did. Long after slavery. And I've told these hoteps, pro-blacks, back to Africa's, that if y'all going to say that this curtain rate of what, 70, 72 percent black babies being born out of wedlock to single parents or single mothers. If y'all going to say that's because of slavery. Then we should have seen those numbers in generations that were closer, closer to the emancipated slaves. Meaning if this was the residual effect of slavery, then we should have had this high number of single parent children being born in our parents and in their parents' generation. But we didn't see that. What we saw, and we can find this out by doing your research, is that you had a mother and father in the home. And when you see the rise in single parent homes, that coincides with the advent of the welfare state. Brought on by none other than y'all's Democratic Party, the white liberal, black women, and white feminists. I mean, I mean, man, I, <laughs> I, I, what do y'all want? And when your black family was destroyed, it had the residual effects of the destruction of that fam of the black family of that family unit had residual effects it was a rippling effect it's like throwing a, a, a rock into a pond and you see those waves this is what happened when the black family was destroyed everything that you see for the most part in black america in 2021 all of the dysfunction that you see rather can be directly one way or another tied to the destruction of that institution, that black family. These are facts. This is the process of social engineering. So when I listen to black YouTubers and they talk about the plight of black people, they talk about what's going on in black America and they cannot chronicle How we got to this point, I don't. I just chuckle because I know that they don't know what they're talking about. And the fact that you now have Hallmark selling a card for Mother's Day or Father's Day, Happy Father's Day, Mom, lets you know that Hallmark Heard and saw two things. First of all, they heard black women when the black woman said that I can raise my son into men. They heard her say that. And they seen her go out and try to do that. And that's the reason why they came out with that card. But that's all a process of social engineering. Everything that you see in black America, and I know y'all wonder, what that got to do the photo of Kevin Samuels? Stick with me, people, please. Let me lay the foundation for you. It's all a process of social, social engineering, and you have to grasp this if you really want to understand what's going on in black America. Because when you, when you understand social engineering and you understand that it's designed and what its intent is, then you have to also understand that's what's included into that social engineering is that there's a way to deal with 
if you have people who's going to rise up, who's going to try to correct the social engineering. In other words, if you have a person who's going to come along, and as y'all say, I've heard people say it, Kevin Samuels is going to fix the black community. He's going to save the black community. This is I've heard you black men say this. And let's take y'all at your word. Let's say y'all y'all right. Let's say you're right in your assessment that what Kevin Samuels talks about is going to benefit black people, black women, black men, the black community. Then what you have to understand is social engineering, because if he's going to go against social engineering, the white man don't even have to be around. He doesn't even have to, have to be around to try to stop. Or the white liberal doesn't have to be around to try to stop a Kevin Samuels. Why? Y'all going to do it. Y'all going to do it. It's, it's, it's in the teaching. It, the white liberal ain't looking up photos of Kevin Samuels. The white liberal ain't making endless YouTube videos calling that dude gay. Y'all doing that. That's y'all. And what y'all don't even understand, because most of y'all are, are really this dumb, that y'all are actually doing the bidding. Y'all actually doing the bidding. And for you black men who, who, who constantly, now listen, I'm fair and balanced. I'm fair and balanced. I have not given anybody what I think about what Kevin Samuel says in his video. I haven't told nobody that. Nobody knows. Nobody can say, I know exactly how he feels. No, no. Well, actually, that's wrong. I'm wrong in saying that. There is one person that knows, and that's the Honorable Quasi 100, because they had a conversation about it. But that's the only brother that, that, that I had that conversation with. I don't, I don't even address it with any of y'all, because first of all, I don't trust y'all. But be that as it may, if, if, if you are correct in your assessment that Kevin Samuel and what he teaches is going to save black America and the black community, that means that he's going against this social engineering. The white liberal says, I ain't even got to address that. Those Negroes are going to do it. The Negroes are the ones that's looking up a fault. Now, y'all talking about, listen, this dude is in his 50s. And I'm not saying that as if it's old because I don't think it is. But the dude is in his 50s, and y'all talking about a photo from high school. Now, if you want to debunk his talking points, that's fair. If you want to critique and analyze his talking points, that's fair. If you want to disagree with his assertions, that's fair game, man. That's all up. Hey, look, it's put out there in a public forum. That's fair game. But to go back to high school, to use a high school photo from a guy that's today in his 50s, that means y'all went back, what, four, four decades? Three, three or four decades. And you know what that tells me? That tells me that all of y'all who made videos talking about that dude's high school picture, that tells me y'all can't debunk his talking points. Because if you can debunk his talking points, debunk them. If you can deconstruct his argument, deconstruct it. What does him being on the dance team in high school some 30 years ago have to do with what he said in 2021? And if you're going to use that as your justification to try to ridicule this dude, again, this is Saul Alinsky. You got to read Saul Alinsky's Rule for Radicals. I think this was rule, what? Don't quote me on this. I think this was rule number six. The use of mockery. Use mockery against your opponent. This is all out of that white liberals playbook. So for those of y'all who don't consider yourselves liberals, who don't consider yourselves Democrats, who don't consider yourselves a part of that schnick, 
yet y'all using a playbook that they have written and used for themselves. I think that's just problematic for me. Plus, it, it demonstrates y'all don't understand social engineering, man. Look, what you see in a black, what you see in black America is not by happenstance. This is by design, man. Everything that you you remember that um, what was that? What was that? Boys in the Hood. And, and Lawrence Fishburne, when he was talking to the young boys when they were young, and he's standing there and they're talking about the alcohol stores in the black community, and, and he's, he's sitting there talking about that sign, and he's sitting there giving them an education. What, what he was basically talking about was social engineering. This is design, man. This ain't by happenstance. It didn't spring up like a weed. It's not, it's not by a mistake that all of these Arab stores dot your community. It's not by a mistake. It's by design. It's not by mistake that you have all of these alcohol stores in your community. I mean, part of it is because y'all drink, but, you know, subject for another video. But this is all by design, man. This is all by design. Everything that you see in the black community is a product of social engineering. And the first experiment that was used on y'all was the destruction of y'all black family. Once that was destroyed, it's all gone, man. You can forget it. And this is the reason why I don't understand why the Umar Johnsons and the other learned intellectuals don't even reference the fact that, listen, until we get about the, and I say we, I'm talking about them, because I'm, I'm, I'm speaking as if I'm them, because I, I, y'all know where I'm at on this. I think it's over. I think it's over. And the reason why, well, let me say this first. Until they get serious about the business of rebuilding the black family. The black race is going nowhere. The black family is the hub. And so when you hear Omar Johnson and you hear all these other intellectual Negroes and they don't even reference who destroyed the black family, the destruction of the black family, they don't hold nobody accountable for it. They, don't, they dare not hold this black woman accountable. This is the reason why they leapfrog her and go all the way back to slavery. They dare not say that that black woman is the reason why the black family was destroyed. Are you serious? These are the same Negroes that say she's God. So since they don't have the nuts to say black woman is your fault, the decisions that you made is one of the reasons why the black family was busted up, they don't want to say that. So they'll leapfrog her and say, well, you know, it was because of slavery. No, 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 no. That's a, that's no, that's not right. You had a black family unit long after slavery. Facts. These are just facts. And since I know that they can't rebuild the black family, why? It's too far gone. And this is the reason I told you all, listen, you got to go. You got to trash these, this generation, the, four, the next three after it. I mean, you got to start over because the social engineering is too inbred. It's too deep. You have women, single women, making videos talking about submission and why they don't want to submit to a black man. And they talk about, you know, he don't protect me, he, you know, he ain't making enough money and all this other crap. And I told them, see, whenever I hear that, take a sip of that. That keeps me calm so I don't get fired up. And I, like I told y'all, my means were designed for y'all's Father's Day, so that's what y'all getting. And I told y'all, this is the politically correct rant. I'm just giving y'all a politically correct rant. I'm going to survey the, the scope. But in the whole, we're going we gonna, we gonna to take the gloves off. We're going down the center of the plate. Y'all know what it is. But I've heard black women make videos complaining about submission. They don't want to submit. And I told y'all, listen. Whenever you hear a single black woman talking about submission, she doesn't know what submission is. Because, listen, sub <laughs> woman, you're, you are not obligated 
as a single woman, you are not obligated to be submissive to a, your boyfriend. I, I'll go so far as to say even your fiance. Or just somebody you fucking. You, you're not obligated to be submissive to them. That's a concept that comes into play when? When you are married. It's a Christian concept. It, it comes from that Bible. And according to that Bible that 80% of y'all say y'all believe in, the Bible is very clear on why the woman should submit to her husband. And the only criteria that your Bible gave that the husband has to fulfill is for him to love her like Christ loved the church. If he does that, she has to submit to him. That's y'all's book saying that. I ain't say that. Ain't got nothing to do with his educational level or have nothing to do with it. He could be a janitor. You can be a doctor. If he loves you like Christ loved the church, according to y'all's Bible, you have to submit to him. Even if he dropped out of high school. And this is the reason why I told y'all that black pastors are complicit with this because they won't tell these women that. They won't tell these women that. So now that's the reason why you have single women making videos talking about submission. Baby, you first got to get your husband. I mean, first things first, you, you single and you talking about, I ain't going to submit. Wait a minute, that, ain't, that shouldn't even be on your radar. You need to find somebody to date first. Somebody be dumb enough to ask you to marry them. And then you got to exchange vows in front of one of these jack legs, bow jangling, buck dancing black pastors. And then that whole concept of submission comes into play. But as long as you're a single woman, no, you don't have to submit to nobody. And the fact that you don't understand that tells me that, you know, this social engineering that they have created, nothing in the black community is by mistake. It all is by design, man. And whenever you have one who's going to come along and try to go against the grain and redo the social engineering, the ones who put the social engineering in place in the first place don't he have to be around to try to stop him? Y'all going to stop him. Y'all going to stop her. And that's the reason why if y'all are correct in your assessment that Kevin Samuels can save the black community, save the black race, then it's going to be black people themselves who's doing what? Digging up dirt on him. Going back 30 years to look at a high school photo. And this is done by people who classify themselves as intelligent. Listen, if I had a if I had an issue with Kevin Samuels, I'm going to debunk his talking points. And this is the reason why I tell y'all, because I'm fair and balanced. I, I said this to pro blacks. I don't care what you've done in your past. That means nothing to me. This is one of the reasons why you don't find me doing that stupid doxing shit. For one, I don't want to know that much about you. For two, I don't need to know your past to deconstruct what you're saying. And for three, I'm not spending no money to do no background check on you. Shit, fuck that. Why? But this is what black people do. This is not just black folk, but we're talking about black people in this context. But this is what they do because they can't deconstruct his talking points. They can't debunk them. And if you could debunk him, debunk him. Stop calling him Kitten Samuels. Stop calling him gay. Stop talking about his daughter. Stop talking about his wives and debunk what the dude is saying. That's all you got to do. Make a video debunking what he's saying. Deconstruct his argument. Y'all can't do that. The only thing y'all can do Yuck, 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 yuck. Look at this photo from 30 years ago. Yuck, 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 yuck. And listen, people, I would be saying the same thing if it was Umar Johnson. If Umar Johnson dealt with that stripper in his past, I wouldn't even mention that. I don't care. It's not a big deal. So what? Better him than me. But he didn't deal with her in his past. He dealt with her when he was quote unquote conscious. 
And that's the reason why it becomes a topic of discussion. It's the same with Cynthia G. I mean, if Cynthia G was dealing with Robert Perkins and 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 there, I, I don't care. That means nothing to me. But for Cynthia G to be dealing with this own and, and 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 as much as she says about black men and the three trash bag black men, and you can't find nobody who is the living, breathing definition of that but Mr. Perkins. I mean, then you, you gotta say what it is, man. It's hypocrisy. But if that was all in her past long ago, then debunk what she's saying. That's all you got to do. But see, y'all can't debunk this guy. Y'all can't debunk him. And that's the reason why Umar Johnson. Now, this, this, is, this is the video that I'm going to deal with in the hole. Umar Johnson, he comes out. And he, he calls these YouTubian beta males, which <laughs> I like that term. I, I have to admit, I like, I'm kind of mad I didn't think of that myself. I, I like that, YouTubian. I, <laughs> I can use that, YouTubian Negroes. But yeah, I might have to bite that. But he, he talks about these YouTubian beta males. But what he doesn't mention, it, it, he talks about them in the context, why he does this, he's, he's elevating the black woman. But yet, he's talking about you two being beta males. Wait, wait a minute, Umar, stop. Let's stop right there. Dude, if you have a you two being beta male, and he's black, then how do you give the black woman who created him a pass? Because by definition, as I've been saying this all the time, if you heard me down the rabbit hole, you know this. In order for you to have a beta male, you need a female because it's the female that he gravitates towards. Be it a mother, a sister, an aunt, a grandmother, it's going to be a female figure. It has to be by definition. So you can't criticize the YouTube being beta males but not criticize the black female that created him. This is my same argument when it comes down to all these black women on YouTube who have so much to say about these black men, yet these black men were reared by who? Who raised them? And we're celebrating her day tomorrow. Happy Father's Day. This is all social engineering, people. This is so embedded. This is so deep ingrained in you people that you're going to have to start over to correct this, man. We not, this, I said this, and when I say this, black people get mad at me for when I say this, but I'm telling them, listen, people, we're not coming out of this. We're not. We, we're not, man. We, we're, we're not getting out of this, man. We're just not. It's, it's not going to happen in our lifetime. We're not correcting this. The race is too far gone. I mean, I know that hurts. And I know a lot of y'all don't really want to accept that. But it's the truth. You may have little individual stories of success. You may have one over here or one over there. You may have a pocket over here. You may have a pocket over there. But as a collective, it's over. So it's done. The fat lady has already sang and she didn't sat down. She didn't took her seat. It's over, man. There is no coming back from this. You have to start over. You have to wipe out at least four generations and some of them that's still evolving in the room. You, boom, you may want to get some of them too. You got to start over, man. And that's where my eugenics come in at. So let me let me stop because that you definitely can't go there here on YouTube. So let let me leave that alone. But I find it interesting that this sister and I'm not going to say she is. I'm going to show you all in the hole. And she put up a post and she was praising Umar. She was patting Umar on the back. And this is what I told y'all. I've told y'all this in many of my videos. What did I say? As long as you defend black pathology. As long as you defend back black pathological deviance, and as long as you defend black women, they will give your fuck ups a pass. And this is the reason why you have black women applauding Umar Johnson. 
Umar Johnson. I'm not going to even call the role on him. We all know. We've seen it. It's played out in front of our eyes in this colored sector of YouTube. I don't even have to mention this, brother, what, what, we, what, what we talking about. Y'all know. And for black women to be applauding Umar Johnson and, uh, and getting behind him as a some bastion of, of, oh, great, great, thank you for defending black women. I mean, are y'all serious? Umar Johnson? That nigga? Really? Him? And the only reason why the, sis, the sister who made this post, she doesn't like Umar and she doesn't like Kevin. She just hates Kevin more than she likes Umar, dislikes Umar. So since Umar called out Kevin, she can get behind Kevin. She, she makes that post for that reason, that reason alone. I told y'all, as long as you defend black females, they will give your fuck ups a pass. They will sweep that shit under the rug. But, you know, let me stop. Let me stop. This is too long. I went too long. But I'm going to address all of this in the whole. I'm going to deal with that unedited version of the Kevin Samuels photo, the dust up between Kevin and Omar, and then we're going to deal with this sister's post that she done. I'm going to show you the post. And I'm going to give you my commentary straight down the center of the plate. You know what it is, second nature like breathing. If you want this classic, inflammatory, unedited, unscripted version, send me an email. I'll send you the link. Because at the end of the day, 